Yes, so this is Joel Kumar Sen and in this video tutorial we are going to learn about solder work principle in machine design. Alright, so basically you know uh, I am going to share with you a problem which already asked in gate previous year on this topic only. Yeah, uh, as you know I, these days I am focusing on gate only that's why you can do much better in the examination. Okay. So, so what is about this equation? What is the equation? What is the formula basically you need to remember for solving problem which already asked in gate? If that question already asked in gate from this topic and probability of coming question also is, is there, right? So, here is the formula for this 1 by FOS is equal to sigma M by sigma yt plus sigma a by sigma e all right what is basically fos factor of safety what is m mean what is yt yield y what is e endurance what is a it's a you can, it's amplitude basically but yeah uh, we have to find out all these i mean we have to use this uh, formula for finding out what they have asked us to find out in the question Alright, so basically this is the major formula we have used and probably you have studied in engineering or maybe somewhere else. I don't know what you did and why you are watching this video. But yeah, as per gate concern, based on this formula, you can solve the numerical problem. That's why I am sharing with you this formula first. Then I will go to the numerical problem. In this video tutorial only, you will come to know how to solve numerical problem which asked in gate previous year. Now, here is the question my dear you can see without talking too much let's go to the question yeah you can read the question right now in this question is in front of you right now all right so let's read first what the question state a bar is subjected to fluctuating tensile load from 20 kilo newton to 100 kilo newton okay okay if it is fluctuating load fluctuating load how much it's a 20 kilo newton to 100 kilo newton that is the key right 20 kilo newton to 100 kilo newton okay now if it is fluctuating so we can find out its mean stress from here that is 100 plus 20 divided by 2 by area that means 60 by area is the mean stress and from here only we can find out sigma a that is 100 minus 20 divided by 2 by area that means it's 80 40 40 by area okay now we don't know area basically so basically what they have asked now what they have stated again I mean, further material has yield strength so sigma yt is equal to 240 mega pascal and endurance limit is reversed bending yeah sigma is equal to 160 mega pascal according to soderberg principle as i have shared with you already that they have question as question from this principle area of the cross section in mm square of the bar if fos fos is equal to 2 so we have to find out this area as they have as this area only this one and this one i mean the uh, same area area is same for this case right so we have to find out area by using that equation which equation already i have shared with you right now let's go for it what is basically 1 by fos is equal to sigma m by sigma yt plus sigma a by sigma e okay now what is fos 1 by 2 FOS is equal to 2. What is sigma m basically? 60 by a. Sigma yt 240 mega pascal 10 to the power 6. Always multiple all this. And 60 by a means 10 to the power 3. I have to multiple because this is in kilo newton, right? Plus sigma a 40 by a into 10 to the power 3 multiple. And now 240 is and 160. 160 multiple 10 to the power 6. Okay. So this is the thing we need to understand basically. After implementing all these, we have to check out that we have follow all in SI units or not. If we haven't followed, then probably we are going to get I mean, wrong answer. So first of all, check it out here only. This is given in kilo, so we have already multiple by 10 to the power 3, 10 to the power 3. That's fine. 
Now FOS, there is no unit of FOS. Factor of safety is not having any unit, right? Now 240 megapascal, 240 into 10 to the power 6 megapascal, we got it. 160 megapascal, 160 multiple 10 to the power 6, we got it. All right. Now what we can do basically, we have to just simplify this equation. We need to get the answer of A. But one thing is here that they have as question as question that we have to find out area in mm square. We have to notice that, right? So first of all, we will find out area in meter square. Then we will convert into mm square. After then we will check the options we have given in the question. Before that we will not check option. If before that we will check option, then probably if they uh, have a given answer. In meter square any option then definitely we are going to mark the wrong answer so before going to check option always check unit they have asked in the question then answer match it with the answer and then go for checking the option that is the key to uh, to choose the right or correct option in the examination even if you'll do this then you can maintain good accuracy that is also I mean that is matter at least in the competition examination right because minus marking is there so that is the key basically right now now what is basically here look at look at this uh, this one this one now we have to what to do we have to do calculation now let's it's this and 10 to the power 3 right now this a will be in reciprocal so 60 240 multiple 10 to the power 3 plus 40 160 multiple 10 to the power 3 got it now we can yeah 1 by 2 is here we can send this a to that side and 2 to this side so 2 6 4 so 1 by 4000 plus uh, this one is also uh, 40 yeah 4 so 1 by 4000 so we can say this 2 multiple 2 by 4000 so this is 1 by 1000 meter right now yeah we don't use even calculator to solve this that is the main thing right man so what we got basically we got area is equal to 1 by 1000 meter square because it is a meter now look at the option we have given i mean the unit we have given that is in mm square so we have to convert this meter square in mm square so what we have to do we have to do that is 1000 multiple 10 to the power 6 mm square is equal to what 10 to the power 3 so 1000 mm square is the 1000 mm square is the right answer after solving this question now we will check the option we have given that is option c so option c is the right answer for this question I hope you understand the concept of Soderberg principle, right? And uh, if you got any problem related to this principle, then comment below. I'll try to help you through my videos. And these days I'm creating a lot of videos related to Git, right? So this is all about this tutorial. Now, one tip I would like to share with you if you are not beginner. Suppose that you are preparing for a long time and you are unable to get good score that's why you are repeating probably because of that so let me share with you one tip that tip can help you to solve question very fast if you want to co solve question very fast then what you have to do just read first line of the question and last the last line of the question after reading first line of the question and last line of the question you will come to know what you have to find out then 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 what you have to do you have to write the formula the main formula you can use to find out that term what they have asked in the numerical problem after writing the formula just try to put all values they have given in the question in this way what will happen you don't need to get values those are not required but given in the question most of the time and not most of the many times we have seen we have given uh, things in the question but those uh, things are not required to solve the numerical problem if you follow this method the method i am sharing with you then definitely you will save time as well as you can solve the problem as well as you will come to know earlier that you can solve the problem or not and one most important thing always try to remember the formula but don't forget to relate formulas with other formulas if you can relate because 
what most of the time we get question with related formulas i mean interlink formulas one formula is interlinked with other they have given the value of other formula but we have to use the main formula to find out other value so this is all about the you know if you are preparing for gate then you have to follow all these concept i mean if you follow then you will uh, you will feel better you can even understand this right so this is all about the total of soderberg principle i hope you understand the total thanks for watching thank you very much and bye bye